what's up? We're on Disappearing Island over here in Ponce, Florida, if y'all are wondering. Got the old boat ski out. Uh, got the fishing poles, but I doubt we're gonna do any fishing. Well, so we got stuck on a sandbar and uh, right here, my depth finder sensor, fish finder, it broke off and uh, the screw hole through the hull is leaking. We got a little bit of water in the hull. So we got hung up on a sandbar and that's what did it. Uh, either somebody stepped on it while trying to help us off the sandbar or the sandbar ripped it off. I think somebody stepped on it. It kind of sucks. So now I got to order a new bracket and got to fix the bilge pump. Found out my bilge pump is clogged up somewhere. Other than that, she's doing pretty good. She's doing pretty good. It's a nice boat. Now we're going to see if my wife can uh, back down the boat ramp. My daughter's back there. What are you doing? kind of sucks that we had to call the day short but it is what it is here she is i've been having her back up and uh she's not too bad she's not too bad let's see this will be her second time backing up in public and you know at the house backing it into the spot where we park it is one thing but in public it's a whole different ball game you know it's a little more nerve-wracking people uh People judge you. I back up trailers all day long, so ain't nothing for me, but for a girl that's only ever backed up a boat trailer twice now, she's doing pretty dang good. Nice and slow, that's all it takes. Cannot turn too much. That's the big thing, never turn too much. Yep, see, follow it around. When you get it angled like that, now she needs to stop and straighten instead of moving. There she goes. There she goes. I always tell her what to do, but you know, she'll get in there. She's oversteering. Now, nope, wrong direction, wrong direction. Other way. There you go, other way. Nope, she had it. She had it. <clears throat> All she had to do was turn the wheel the other way and keep coming, but I know how it is. This is our uh, 2021 F-150 Space White 5 liter. I guess it's a co you know Coyote, whatever. Uh, straighten out the wheel, just straighten it out. There you go, there you go. There you go. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful truck. You know, we're out here living the, the Florida life. Five acres in the country. 2021 five liter F-150 and a uh, boat. Z06. My evil, my evil. Eva, Eva, what are you doing today, puppy? <laughs> Silly dog. Right, let's have a look at this transducer that we broke off. I need a weed eat back here. Look at this, I'm gonna step on all this. Stuff. Ugh. Ugh. That sucks. I need a weed eat. Ow, thorns. Right here. Ugh. 
pulled it right out. So new transducer bracket. Other than that, so now we gotta flush the motor out. Put those earmuffs on. Oh my god, I just said that. It was gonna come on. Damn, I can't see that anybody's in there. Man, that's all we're gonna do. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> So since we're in salt water, I don't know, you know, northerners know about this. You gotta flush these things out, wash the boat, get all the salt off from it, wash the trailer, wash any metal. So I do this right in this ditch and it leads to my big ditch. I need new muffs, they're uh, about shot. So, she uh, actually cleaned up rather well. Definitely need a new tent. But for sitting under an oak tree for uh, a year, I'm gonna get her back in the garage. I'm gonna finish it. It's not bad, she cleaned up pretty well. The paint's not, not terrible. <sighs> I just have too many projects, too much junk, man. I got. There's junk everywhere. My barn needs to be painted. I ordered a dumpster. All this shit is for the dumpster. The floor is a mess. With racing, I've been trying to just get everything together. I mean, I had to put together two of these race cars and then head to Tennessee and go racing. It just, it's a lot. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Everybody lowballs me. You know what? I can just keep it. Everyone's like, they want the rims. I understand the rims. I don't know how much you can get for Cobra rims. They're not real, they're replicas. They're uh, 315 and uh, 275s. Does the hood come with it? Does the rims come with it? Uh, you're getting a shell. You're getting a shell with some UPR control arms and an anti-roll bar and an interior, a junk interior. That's it, you know what, I'll just keep it. But I'm gonna take this car out. I think I'm... Uh, just get one car running and put this on the back burner, put the Cobra on the back burner. This one's a roller again, so uh, I'm gonna roll it on out of here and finish my other car. I need to sweep 
I mean, there's just metal shavings. This is the dirtiest my shop's been in a while. I put that there for my dog to lay, but just dirty, just dirty. Everything's a mess. I started organizing my bolt bins again. Uh, LS engines honed, everything, you know. All my uh, go fast ports are right there. Just big mess. Anyways, I'm Dustin. This is Dustin's Customs. And uh, I, I got a lot going on. So whatever I get out is what I get out. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.